my viewers and welcome to understanding chemistry by Nkechi. On today's topic, we're looking at uh, ionic theory. Okay. By the end of this lesson, she's able to understand how uh, she's able to know how to state ionic theory, mechanism of ionic theory. Okay, let's look at ionic theory. Ionic theory, as proposed by Arrhenius in 1887, states that when an electrolyte is melted or dissolved in water, some, if not all, of the molecules of the substance dissociates into freely moving charged particles called ions. In a short form, it can say that when an electrolyte is melted or dissolved in water, some, if not all, of the molecules of the substance dissociate into ions. So the process of dissociating into ions is what we call ionization. A substance when melted or dissolved in water breaks up into free moving particles called ions. So it means that we'll be having we're having a charged particles called ions. So the ions could be positively charged or negatively charged. So metallic ion, metallic ions, ammonium ion, hydrogen ion are positively charged. Why not metallic ions? Hydrogen ion, ETC, any radical that is uh, negatively charged plus non metallic ions are negatively charged. Mechanism of electrolysis. Okay. So now, say this is an electrolytic cell. This is just a vessel with the electrolyte. This one, before the passage of the electricity, what happens? The ions move freely. There is random movement of the ions, the positive charge ion and the negative charge ion, they move randomly, randomly. So it means that before you pass energy current, those ions have already done what associates into free moving particles. So what happens when there is a passage of electricity? When it's connected to the battery or whatever that generates the electric current. So what happens is that remember the battery is also a cell. So in that, that case, that's an electrochemical cell. In a, in a, in a electrochemical cell, <coughs> in a, in a, a electrochemical cell, the cathode is positively charged. The anode is negatively charged. This is the cathode of the, of the battery. This is the anode of the battery. It's negatively charged. Cathode is negatively charged. But the electrode for electrochemical cell, electrode, cathode is negative. Anode is positive, but that of a cell, cathode is positive and anode is, is uh, negative. Okay, that was it. Was that a cathode is connected to the negative terminal of the battery? Cat anode, cathode is connected to the negative terminal of the battery. Why anode is, is positively charged? It's connected to the positive terminal of the battery, but the positive terminal of the battery. Is the cathode for the battery and the negative terminal of that battery is anode but negatively charged it's negative so the result is negative so what happens is that when you connect to the battery this anode is going to pump the negative terminal of the battery which is anode is going to pump electron to the electrolyte through this cathode cathode of the electrolytic cell let me repeat it again. When you connect this to, 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 to the battery, what happens? The negative terminal of the battery, which is the anode, pumps electron into this electrolyte through the cathode of the electrolytic cell. And as it happens, what happens? The cations, the, the, the negatively charged particles, it's going to migrate all the negative charge particles in the electrolytes. They will move towards the anode. The positive charge particles in the electrolytes is going to migrate towards the negative electrode, which is the cathode. So that is why we call positive charge uh, particles, positive charge ions, we call them cations. We call them cations. 
But the rich are particles, ions, they are called cat ions. Why? Because they, they migrate towards the cathode. So they are called cat ions. And negatively charged ions that move towards the anode, they are called anions. So what happens next is, is this electron, electron will leave the electrolyte through the anode. So it means that the positive, the positive terminal of the battery, the positive terminal of the battery, which is the cathode, is going to attract, is going to pull the electrons away from the electrolyte through the anode of the electrolytic cell. And put it away. So the process continues like that. So that's the mechanism of electrolysis. So what happens is that this positively charge, these cations, they are going to do what? They're going to accept electron. They are going to accept electron from the cathode and become reduced and become reduced to metallic ion and become reduced. Why the anions, these negatively charged ions here, they are going to donate electron. They donate electron and becomes oxidized. So two things happen here. Reduction takes place at the cathode. At the cathode there is reduction. Reduction takes place at the cathode. Why are the anodes? Oxidation takes place at the anode. So for reduction, because this one they're going to accept the electron. So that the, the, the cations they are going to do what they're going to accept electron from the cathode and become reduced. Why the anions that might get to the anode, they're going to donate electron or give up their electron and become oxidized. Okay, let's look at um, Electrolytic reaction. Electrolytic reaction is a redox reaction. What am I not redox reaction? Oxidation and reduction takes place simultaneously. As one is one species being oxidized, the other one is being reduced. So what does at the cathode? The reaction that goes up at the cathode and the one that goes up goes on at the at the anode. It, it happens simultaneously. So the reaction that takes place at the cathode is what we call cathodic half. Reaction, cathodic half reaction. So the reaction that takes place at the anode is what we call anodic half reaction. So this cathodic half equation, anodic half, cathodic half equation takes place at the cathode. Another half reaction takes place at the at the anode. When you combine the two reactions together and cancel out the electron, we will obtain what we call what overall reaction. That's algebraic addition of the two half equation. We will obtain what what we have what we call overall overall reaction. Okay. Let's look at it. Let's look at electro electrolytes and their ion. Okay, look at this. So, what should be the ions of this uh, electrolyte? This two is the valence. This lead two thousand nine hundred five. So, this two is the charge of this lead. NO three minus. So, but I have two atoms of. So that's not like that ion, two atoms of it. So how to balance the atom. So you can see this is the ions, two plus for the lead, two minus. So aluminum tetrasophysis. These two, remember when in forming of a chemical compound, um and there's an exchange of a valency. So this two is the valency of surface ion. This three is the is the uh, valency of uh, aluminium. So aluminium, what's the charge of aluminium is 3 plus. So what's the charge on surface ion? 2 minus. Let's balance the atom. I have two atoms of aluminium. 
I have three atoms of sulfate ion. Two, two times three plus six plus. Three times two minus six minus six plus six minus will give you zero. There's no charge on this compound. So what's charge on sodium? Hydroxide ion is minus. So this two is the charge of this carbonate ion inside of the carbonate ion. So what's sodium ion plus carbonate ion? Two minus. How many atoms of sodium do I have? I have two. So two plus two minus. Remember, all halogens have a valency of one, oxidation number of minus one. So this two is the valency of lead. That is lead two bromide. So how many atoms of bromide do I have? Bromine. Uh, Atom do I have two? All right. Two plus two minus. To the end of this lesson. So the next next lesson, I will be discussing preferential discharge of ions. So in that lesson, you will be made known which of the products, which of the ions will be, will be preferential discharge during electrolysis, and some examples of electrolysis like electrolysis of uh, acidified water. A doses of a uh, brine and a doses of a uh, copper two sulfate. Have a great day. Bye.